How's it hanging fellas? I'm Orosh and this is another episode of VR Fridays and in today's episode we're going to play Res Infinite. Uh, I'm not sure if this has anything to do with the gun, but we'll see. So last episode we did this, Eve Valkyr, and I'm not going to do every single one of those demos in a row. I do want to do every single one of them, but not in a row, because there's a lot of fucking games here. But I hope not every single fucking demo is as, as short as this. Because this was like, what, like fucking 30 seconds long? We flew a spaceship around and that was about it. This doesn't fill me with much confidence either. It looks kind of short. So, alright, I'll see you in... I'll see you in the game, I guess. Alright, am I already in the game? Or am I still in, like, credits? I better be in the game, because if I'm in the credits and then the game triggers, then this recording will be cancelled. I don't know why that happens, but that's what happened with Valkyr. Really pissed me- Whoa, fuck. I really pissed- Whoa, what's going on when I look down? It's like all freaky and fucked up. What's going on? <laughs> you come here to this void very often? Oh my god. I think this might be Resogun. Remember Resogun? I think it was like a PS... It was like... Fuck, I don't remember. I don't remember which story is correct, but it was either like... The first fucking... Play demo, sure. But the fir it was either the first game to have achievements on PlayStation, or was it like... Oh wait, shoot. Oh, it's like a rhythm game. Weird. Do I move in any way? It's like a bit trip game. Hey, this isn't what I expected it to be, to be honest. I thought it was just gonna be Resogun, but with like... VR. Where you kind of view everything from like... You know, from a person perspective. And instead it's a fucking party over here. What the fuck did I just do? Hard to fucking tell what's going on when you can't comprehend the fucking screen. What's with these collectibles? Should I figure out a way to collect them? I think I got hit. I turn into a ball. It's well, you know what's kind of. I should probably stop doing that because you can control the crosshair with both um, your head, which is what I'm doing right now, and you can also control it with. Control it with the analog stick, and that's what kind of messes me up. I was using both. <laughs> Playing against myself. You know what this reminds me funny enough? It reminds me of one of those mini games in Yakuza. Where you fly around in like an uncomprehensible fucking spaceship made of shapes, and then you fight other shapes. It's in five. Not free, which is, I guess, what I'm doing right now. Am I still uploading free or are we done with free? Because I don't know when this video will come out, but... Wait. I, I can't steer myself, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing, to be honest. It'd be cool if I could steer myself. I think we're fighting a boss fight. Well, I gotta say, this is already better than this previous one. I wish I could, like, reset the position of the crosshair. Are these rockets aiming for my face, not the, my character? Oh, there is a health bar. Sounds fucking... Sounds like... I forgot the name of the moment. That's it right here. Had a lot of time to fix like that. I remember that when I got a move uh, for PlayStation 3, they had this demo set too, and they had this one game that was about building towers. So you were basically picking up blocks and building towers out of them, and I found it the most fun game, and one that I would actually want to buy. Because it was just fun to pick up shit and like toss it around. And this block is harder than I thought. What the fuck? Oh my god. So maybe you know what, thank fucking god I'm not controlling this. It's even more uncomprehensible. I'd probably crash into like all the fucking walls. 
it's hard to keep track of this shit. Where do you go? Oh, come on, I can't fucking turn him like that. You got a thick nail. And I'm ball again. That'd be pretty freaky, a game where you're just chased by a man made of objects. So someone was knocking at my door. But in these head, this music's kinda... Maybe it's just the sound of the game. Wait, am I actually steering myself? Just by pointing? I don't think so, because before I was like... I had a bunch of turns I could take on, but... I didn't took any of them. Well, we can't even replay that. That was pretty cool, though. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this, but let's say it was ever for free, I definitely would check it out again. I really do feel like someone's trying to open the door. Whatever, I'll check it out. Hold on. Alright. What is this game called? Res Infinite, yeah. Here we are back in the menu. I didn't show you this screen, but this lady didn't make an appearance in the demo. She was at the beginning, of course, but not in the actual game. It's not as freaky in the menu, but in the game it was way more freakier. It like, made weird fucking movements when I was moving around. Another piece of advice when you're playing VR. Make sure your fucking head is all dry. Like, if you... Because right now it's so fucking hot outside, I'm keep washing my face with cold water. Just to fucking not pass out. And... When I turn, when I put the headset on, it like immediately fogged up, and I had to go and like fucking just clean my face. Like quit this. All right, so next episode, I'm probably not gonna do another one of those demos. Maybe we'll do something else. I don't know what this could fucking be. This game, though, I I might as well. I could. I would actually like to um buy the whole version and just play it because it's really fun. And I think this one supports move. So maybe next time I'm gonna try to record a bunch of move games. I could try that, I guess. Thumper. I, I kinda wish, like, you can kinda do this. Ladies and gentlemen, stay your senses, ex experience 360 degrees of mind blowing. What the fuck is going on with this controller? No, it doesn't. I think I'm sitting out of fucking range. Degrees of mind blowing synth. Oh, whatever. It doesn't tell you whether it fucking uses uh, full retail version of Res Infinite. It's also playable in non VR mode. Well, it doesn't tell you whether it's using uh, move controllers like this game. It doesn't tell you like that it supports move controllers. At least I don't fucking see it. That'd be kind of neat. It does tell you whether they support move controllers on the on their page on PlayStation Store, but not in the game. That'd be neat if it actually did told you that. Alright, whatever. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.